So today on A Word From Robin, I just wanted to show you one of the places I enjoy walking. This is called the Core Arboretum. It's in Morgantown, West Virginia. And I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I enjoy while I share what's on my heart and mind. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you get a chance to visit as well. My pastor has been teaching and preaching from the book of Ecclesiastes for a while. God put it on his heart. I remember when he first mentioned that we would be spending time in that book and I admit, my first response was why? <laughs> Let me explain. A few years ago, I committed to reading one chapter of the Bible each day before starting work. And to be honest, once I hit Ecclesiastes, I couldn't finish it fast enough. This is the book of the Bible that starts with, the words of the teachers, son of David, king in Jerusalem. Meaningless, meaningless, says the teacher. Utterly meaningless. Everything is meaningless. That's Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. <laughs> How's that for an opener? But it's not only about how you get started. The real measure is how do you finish? Because new journeys can begin rocky, but end up becoming a thing of beauty. So I resolved to open my mind and let go of my biases to embrace what this book is really saying to us in these challenging times. There is so much going on, good and bad. We see and feel the excitement of children being born and people celebrating life and success in business. But at the same time, we see and feel the horrors of war, failed marriages, and loss in its many, many forms. The internet gives us a front row seat to it all, and it's a lot to see. Every day, we have to figure out how to handle messages about our worth. Are we making enough money? Do we live in a nice enough home or neighborhood? Are we pretty enough, smart enough? fit enough? Do we have a high value lifestyle? Is there enough in our retirement fund to live on? And who sets the bar for all of these things? And so on and so on. It can be exhausting until you embrace the simple truth that Ecclesiastes offers. It's meaningless because you can have the $10,000 engagement ring, but no love. You can own a thriving metropolis and still feel lonely. You can be considered fit and good looking, but still cry when you look in the mirror. Life is more than stuff, more than appearances, more than words, sound bites, and images. Looking for meaning? While there is some debate on who wrote Ecclesiastes, one thing is clear. The writer experienced everything you can experience under the sun and did not restrict himself. He concluded that meaning lies in fearing God and keeping his commandments. What does that look like today? Especially when words like fear and commandment are rejected. I'll tell you what it means to me. Fearing God is less of an emotional response and more of a reverence for who he is. Having respect for God also invites me to care about the things he cares about and live my life in a way that is meaningful. For me, that means not working all hours of the day and night to earn money to pay bills. It means making time for him, for family, and for enjoying life. It means helping others in need, sharing a kind word, and asking people how they're doing. It means taking time to go on a walk call a friend or show up when someone I love needs my presence. It means being a reflection of God's love in a world that desperately needs it. A world that feels so far from the creator that it believes it created itself. In commandments, I think of them as wisdom for how to live my life. When Jesus came to rescue us, his selfless act 
simplified numerous commandments into this scripture found in Mark 12. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. So how am I finding meaning in life these days? Simple. Respect God. Love God with everything you have in you. Love others like you love yourself. And if you don't love yourself, it's time to explore why, because God calls you worthy of love and his actions prove it. These are just a few of the thoughts swirling around in my mind and heart today. I hope you find meaning in them for your life. Thanks for listening and being a part of Unexplained Peace. I assure you, you are the best part.